Welcome to the NVIDIA Insight Graphics 2022.2 Release Spotlight. In this release, we focused on improving capture performance, adding encoding support for the new Vulkan video functionality, and introduced some new features that will help you more quickly identify potential performance issues in your real-time ray tracing application. One of the top rules for profiling effectively is to ensure that your system is not running any applications that can skew profiling results. For example, if you were streaming hardware decoded video in your web browser and wanted to use GPU Trace to generate profiling data for a 3D intensive game, your results will be polluted by the global GPU activity from that external web browser process. In order to help you understand when that may occur, we've created a new row in GPU Trace that alerts you to this situation. Here you can see the D3D12 and body gravity sample interfering with the results of this trace. The solution is simple shut down that application and take another trace. Please note that this currently only works on Windows applications using D3D12 or DXR. Linux and Vulkan will be supported in the future. Also, make sure that you have hardware accelerated GPU scheduling enabled in order to see this information. When working on ray tracing applications, it can be challenging to determine where performance issues might be coming from. While the GPU trace profiler and the shader profiler give you very in-depth information, it may not be immediately obvious where you should spend your time profiling. With the new shader timing heat map, you're able to visualize the hotspots in your scene where Raygen shaders are taking the longest to execute. This allows you to very quickly identify for a given scene where you should focus your profiling efforts. In the last release, we introduced a new instance overlap analysis feature that allowed you to see where your acceleration structure instances are overlapping and potentially resulting in decreased performance. In this release, the Ray Tracing Acceleration Structure Viewer is getting even more useful with the new Instance Heat Map. This feature allows you to quickly see where the number of instances in your scene might result in a high number of ray intersections for a given viewpoint. When you find such hotspots, you can then take a closer look to investigate if the instance complexity is resulting in performance issues, and if so, you can easily share the heat map with content creators like environment artists and level designers so they can further optimize the scene. Continuing where we left off, we now support the Vulkan video encoding operation. This is in addition to the decoding support that we previously implemented. This means that the provisional Vulkan video extensions are fully supported for debugging and profiling in Ansight Graphics. You'll still need the beta Vulkan driver to test this until the spec is fully ratified. Thank you for watching and don't forget to send us your bugs, feature requests, and general feedback using the integrated feedback button at the top right of the window. If you like this video and would like to see more like this in the future, be sure to leave a comment and subscribe to the NVIDIA Developer Channel.